lot has been going on since the announcement at SEMA. The girls have been working nonstop on this build. It is coming along great. I had to take it from this dream to it's happening. Like, this is real and we are making it happen, working together, being a team. Me and Bogey have been going back and forth, trying to figure out what color she likes, what color schemes, just really trying to figure out what's gonna bring her personality in this build. Today, Bogey and I are at the new BASF Training Center in Houston, Texas, working with their team, trying to figure out which colors that we wanna put on this truck. So when BSF decided to sponsor the all-female build with Bogey and Madison, and just a really great opportunity to see the passion for BSF, for the product, for the build, and you know, have so many people come together with the same objective of really attracting more women, and not only attracting, but supporting the women in the industry and providing that network as well. This build is something that's bigger than myself. It's about all the women in the industry and showing what we can really do. This whole build has been such a whirlwind, meeting so many amazing women, getting to work with so many amazing women from all over the industry, all over the country, all coming together to make this truck actually happen. So we are here today to actually get into it and start mixing some custom colors. We're just gonna start narrowing things down, figuring out our main color families, and we'll go from there. Based on the photos Bogey sent me and listening to her ideas, I was able to narrow it down to a few color codes to start with. From there, with the help of Hans, we've been able to tint and get closer to the exact colors that Bogey had in mind. We're starting out with four colors, going to narrow it down. The teals I'm drawn to, kind of a really dark, like jewel tone teal, as well as that lighter kind of, I call it Tiffany box blue, but it's not really that. It's, um, it's not quite as girly as that, but um, there's something about that color tone that I just, I just think it's a really beautiful look especially on that type of truck. So i um, not sure how it's gonna look in real life. It works conceptually in my brain, but we'll see, we'll see how it sprays out. On this build, we're going to use RM Onyx HD. And today I really got to play with it and push its limits and really see what I can do. Like the color, um, the base that we started with, but we wanted it to be a little bit lighter. We wanted a little bit more green to it. So we messed with the yellow level, levels a little bit there. And so we'll spray it out, do some modifications and go from there. This paint really lays out nice. The colors that we started out with are really easy to manipulate and tint with these toners. So we've got our teals kind of narrowed down. Now we're looking at the purples and purples are tough. They are really challenging. I have in my brain what I want and what that purple is going to look like, but it's so kind of a fine line between too grapey, too much like Barney. We don't want to look like a purple Jolly Rancher. We don't want it to be lilac, right? So it's a very careful, kind of an odd one. And we, it, we took a long time trying to find the right base. But once we got that narrowed down, I think we're gonna try a couple of different options and we'll see how they go. I think we're on the right track. And again, she wants to make another adjustment to this purple. Hans and I are just trying to keep it from going too muddy and too brown. We really want to keep that purple hue to it. My, my whole shop is purple, everything is purple. Um, I think it's a jewel tone thing. It's like the, the teal and the purple and the ruby reds, like they all kind of work together in my world as these deep jewel tones. And that's it. We've got three strong colors to choose from. Today was, I thought was absolutely amazing. We had um, quite a bit of back and forth between myself and Madison and Bogey, which was the first time to work with them. And, and working with anybody in a, in, a, in a color selection process is sometimes challenging. There's a lot of personality involved. And that certainly played out today. There was uh, some things where I was challenging and they were uh, you know, battling me. And I think in the end, we got three very, very strong colors that are gonna look absolutely amazing. So it was just a joy to be involved. I absolutely appreciate every single person who's been a part of making it happen. I appreciate every one of my fans. BASF has been such a huge supporter of this build and believing in it from the get-go. So, amazing day. I'm, I'm just thrilled. The tail is definitely a unique and cool twist on the traditional color, and that's really exciting. The purple reminds me of a dark cherry. It almost looks black until the light hits it just right, and you can see the purple really jump out. The light blue I really like. It reminds me more of a traditional Chevy color, which it fits really well with this build. I am not sure which one Bogey is going to choose on this one. We've got it narrowed down to our top three choices, and I have to say I'm in love with all of them. 
We're going with a satin gray for our accent on each of them. I, I love the way this pops. The purple is stunning. The teal is just a beautiful, beautiful color. I don't know that I can make this decision. I need your guys' help, seriously. Well, it looks like you guys are going to decide what color I'm gonna paint on this truck. Go to basfrefinish.com forward slash montage to vote for your favorite. The truck and the color will be revealed live on opening day at SEMA 2017. Go to the website below to vote for your favorite.